Folks, the light on my boat trailer is out. It's not working. Let's see what's wrong with it. May need a new light bulb. Hell, that one's corroded. It ain't coming out. Look at all that rust in there. Yeah, that light bulb ain't coming out of there. It's too rusty. That's what's wrong with the damn thing. Hmm. Well then. I'll have to say it's a good thing I have a replacement. Walmart, six bucks. Let's get busy. Some bolts on the back of it. Let's take those out. Wow, it's amazing that they're not rusted. That is, I, I can't believe that. That those aren't rusted. If the inside's rusted like it is, why isn't the outside? Wow. Better metal. These bolts are made out of better metal than that crappy little socket on the inside is. Now, I've got some wire cutters because Whoever did this last time used some uh, zip ties right here. Being very careful, I want to uh, cut these wires. Before I do that, I want to see how much they gave me with the new one, the new light. If I can find my knife. I'll open this up. Not very much wire at all with that new. Do those at least line up? Yep. I do. Okay. They didn't give me very much wire. So, this is pretty much useless. It's cracked even, it's broken. The thing is just, you know, it's garbage. I'm not gonna try to salvage this. So I'm gonna go ahead and just cut these damn things off as close as I can. That gives me plenty of wire to work with. Strip my ends, just like that. And uh, I need to strip these ends back a little better also. Now, doing this, I don't put complete pressure on these wire cutters because I don't want to cut through the damn wire. I just want to, you know, just want to do this. Just want to strip it. I don't want to cut it. Now... What I'm gonna do here is uh, I'm gonna put some solder on that. Be right back. Let's see where they're at. You see where they're at. I got one here and one here. Let's start up the torch. This is a small soldering torch from uh, Radio Shack. It works wonders. It's got a nice little flame on it. It's adjustable. Got a little stand. So you want to set it down and use that as a stand, but I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to heat up these wires and hit them with a little solder. I think I'd better do better with my right hand. Heat that wire up till you see a green flame. 
come off the other side of it and then usually your solder will stick right to it. And I'm doing this without my glasses on, damn it. My glasses are in the house. I don't have any shrink tubing. And there's a mosquito flying around me. If I'd have had some shrink tubing, I'd have put that on there first, but I'll show you a trick. Go ahead and do the other one. I don't know if you can see how that flame turns green. To me, that lets me know it's hot enough to get my rosin. I mean, get my... What do you call this shit? Solder. That'll be good. Good enough for me. Now what I want to do is take me a lighter. And a little bit of uh, hot glue. I got a glue stick right here. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna straighten those, straighten those leads out. What I just soldered, and now I'm gonna insulate that with hot glue, which will stay on there a lot longer than uh, electrical tape. <laughs> That's about all I got right now. I'm gonna put electrical tape on after this, but I'm gonna first. Uh, I'm going to uh, insulate it with hot glue, just to make sure. Just rub hot glue all over it until it's covered. You got all the metal covered. Do it like that right there, let that shit dry. Do the other lead. With hot glue, just cover it all up. Make sure you cover that wire. Don't leave any of the wire exposed. Just cover it real good with hot glue. Just like so. I'm gonna back the car up and go ahead and hook to it and give it a test real quick and see how it works before I mount the bolts. Actually, I can't do that, folks. I gotta mount the bolts because the uh, bolts, that, that grounds it. So it won't work unless it's grounded. So I've got to mount the bolts. Be right back. I love electrical tape much more than I love duct tape. Electrical tape is stretchy and it's easy to get it real tight because if it's stretchable it's elastic elasticity I guess you want to call it and uh, it, it does a wonderful job on anything whatever you use it on it doesn't does real good anyway those freaking connections are sealed with that hot glue and uh, now I'm sealing it with this so I'm pretty sure that that's a that's pretty good that's gonna be a good good connection now, let's find our package with the screws with the bolts in it Careful not to drop those. Let's put them on. Lock washer first. What the hell is that? Oh. Lock washer first. Let's see if it 
same size. It'll work. Boop, 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 boop. No, it won't. I get a small wrench. A smaller socket. It's a 10 millimeter. I have the package. Tighten that up. Tighten that up. Let's back the truck up and uh, hook it up and see if our light works. I can see it working already. All right. She's a working. Let me go test the blinker. I don't know where to put y'all at. Don't nobody need to see that. Lights off. Blinker on. That's not the blinker. Blinker works. Uh, we've also learned that Gear uh, lived uh, for a time in both uh, Brake light. South and North Carolina, where he had several run ins. Brake light work. The years. Uh, those were mostly for traffic. Can't see. I have to rewind the video and look back at it. Anyway, folks, I'm pretty sure it works. That's how you replace your trailer light. I'm going to tie these up so that they don't hang and get caught on anything. Just like so. It's good enough for me. This job's done, folks. Now, tomorrow will be Monday. I'm gonna take it to a shop. Uh, had to fix that light before I could take it because, of course, I want to be street legal and I want to be safe. I don't want nobody running up on my tail, hitting my boat because they didn't see my brake lights. So, that being said, I'll keep y'all posted on the uh, progress with the boat. Um, I'll, I'll, I'll let you know what I, I was told tomorrow when I drop it off. I'll come back, make a video, and give y'all an update. Thanks. Thanks for watching. Have a good day.